Hey guys, this is Rick, the middle class millennial, and today I'm gonna to tell you guys three things you need to know about radon. And if you stick towards the end, I'm gonna have a fourth bonus tick for you DIYers out there. First off, quick disclaimer, I am not a legal scholar, I do not give legal advice, and I am not a doctor, I do not give medical advice. Take what I say in this video as a grain of salt. Contact the local laws and jurisdictions in your area, and seek out a medical professional if you want medical advice regarding radon. And now on with the video. So first things first, what is radon? Well, radon essentially is a radioactive gas that's emitted from decaying radium in the Earth's soil. If you don't know what radium is, it is the same stuff they used to make radium paint on alarm clocks back in the day to make them glow in the dark all night. Um, and this gas is emitted, comes up through the Earth, and usually dissipates in the air. And that brings me into point number two, which is radon in human health. Believe it or not, radon is, according to the APA, is the second cause of lung cancer for people in the United States aside from smoking. Um, and it, like I said, this gas is everywhere. However, it's typically dangerous in higher amounts. And those higher amounts are typically found in underground mines, basements, especially in a home. If you have a basement like the basement I'm in right now, you're going to have higher levels. Um, unless you have proper venting or an area for this gas to escape. Because what ends up happening is it will concentrate in a low part of your house or in a mine. And if there's not proper ventilation, it can build up to dangerous levels. And that gets me on to point number three, which is regulations. Believe it or not, there are some states and local jurisdictions that may require you to do a radon test when you buy or sell your home. Um, the EPA recommends that if you have more than two picoliters of radon levels in your house, that you need to monitor it routinely. If you have more than for picoliters, you need to have some kind of radon mitigation system in place. Now, as far as testing for radon, you have a few options. You can either A, hire a professional to come in and test your home, or B, they do have these self-test ticks you can buy online. They're like a little hockey puck that you stick on the floor. You don't stick the pucks on the floor, you stick them chair to tabletop high. And you can measure levels that way and then turn it into a lab. Or the third method, you can go on Amazon and get one of these. I don't, I'm not sponsored by these guys, it's just what I picked up. I got these on sale for 50% off. I highly recommend you get these on sale. Um, and this will not only measure the radon levels in your home currently, but it'll measure it year-round as long as you have this running, which is very important because certain times of the year, you're gonna have lower and high radon levels. For example, if you test in the summer, typically your radon levels are gonna be lower as opposed to in the winter time when you're, all your doors and windows are shut because, well, it's cold outside. And for those of you guys that stuck around until the end, here's the fourth bonus tip, and that's radon mitigation. Now, these radon mitigation devices uh, that they may require you to put in are usually like a three to four inch PVC pipe that they will drill into the foundation of your basement, for example, and vent it out of your house. They'll run this four inch pipe out the side of your house and it has to be vented above the roof line. It's a pretty ugly thing, in my opinion. I'll put a link to somebody getting installed in the video's description if you want to see more details on that. But that may be a problem if you are planning on finishing your basement or you already have a finished space. The last thing you want is when you go to sell your house five, 10 years down the road and they may require you to fix this issue before you sell your house, you're gonna have a pretty ugly device maybe in the middle of your den or whatever room you built. So I'd advise uh, before you guys start finishing and framing your basement, test for radon first. If the radon levels are a little high and maybe you don't wanna deal with it later, whatever, just have an, a, a place in the laundry room for it. Just have an area where you think it, it can be put because it doesn't take up a lot of space. But here's the other kicker too. You gotta get that four inch pipe along a ceiling somewhere and out of the house, okay? What do I mean by that? What I mean is when you go to get this space finished and you have to put a radon device in here because it's gonna be a den, you wanna make sure that you have a cavity open for them because they're gonna have to drill, you know, if this is all drywalled in and they gotta run the vent pipe through here, it's gonna require, unfortunately, a lot of unnecessary demolition that you can avoid if you test for this beforehand and have a plan in place on how to vent this out. The good news for me is I already have a plan in place. So if I need to go put in the radon mitigation system, I know where I need to put it in my basement and I know where I can run that tubing without doing any demolition work. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys, when you guys plan to finish your basement, I'd highly advise radon test your basement before you get started. Continue testing because keep in mind, when you start to finish your living space, as you put insulation up and you put drywall up, there's gonna be less area for the radon gas to effectively escape. So your radon levels 
may go up, especially more in the wintertime when you start to finish your basement. And just have a plan in place on if you have to put a radon mitigation system in the future. You're not doing a bunch of ugly, unnecessary demolition, and you're not gonna have an ugly device in the middle of a living space, for example. So um, yeah, go down, pick this up for like I said, 100 bucks or whatever when it, when it goes on sale. I will put the link to this in the video's description. Um, also the video with the uh, radon mitigation system, I'm also gonna put that in the link's description as well. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I, I think it is good educational purposes for you guys if you guys wanna check it out. So I hope this video helped to give you guys some general information of what radon is and how to deal with it. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and uh, also uh, let me know in the comments description below, uh, do you guys, if any of you have a radon mitigation system already, let me know. Do you have any horror stories where they had to put it in a spot in your basement you weren't really fond of because you didn't think it was going to be a problem until later? Yeah, let me know down in the description below. Anyway, until next time, you guys take care.